the picture on your screen right there kicks off entertainment news, and it is the world's largest stegosaurus skeleton. You want to own it, Andrea? I do. Yeah. I actually want to put it in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it'll fit. Can I do that? It's pretty big. You're right. Uh, it won't it's fit. up for auction. Sotheby's says the fossil, it's, a, it's the real deal. It's not a, a cast model okay. or anything. It's estimated to fetch up to $6 million. Wow. Now, it's named Apex. It's estimated to be 161 million years old. <laughs> That's doesn't old. Look, doesn't That's look a day over 150, no, no. right? No, it's pretty young. <laughs> it's 11 feet tall. How high are your ceilings? Definitely uh, not it's, 11. <laughs> <laughs> it's 27 feet long. It is six feet oh. wide. That is about 30% larger than the other most notable stegosaurus skeleton, Sophie, which is on display at the London's Natural History, Muse History Museum. Are you kidding me? You get a you get a dinosaur bigger than the one they have in the museum? I'll just take them both. No, just right, right. Apex was discovered near the town of, get this, Dinosaur, Colorado. I wonder how that town got its name. Right, exactly. Yeah, back in yep. 2022. The auction is going to take place in case you got millions of dollars burning a hole in your pocket. July 17th in New York. I'm going to be curious to see who uh, the yeah, who new buys owner, that? who's going to buy it and where it's going. If Michael Jackson was still alive, he'd already own it. Right. But who, who I'm hoping gonna... maybe another museum will, uh, yeah. will happen to, to, to buy it. So we'll see. Well, Todd, picking up a book this summer could lead to free pizza for young readers. I'm all about this. Pizza mm -hmm. Hut is bringing back its Camp Book It program, where it rewards young readers with free pizza. Parents will be able to set up reading goals every month in a digital dashboard. And once their kids meet their goal, they'll receive digital coupons that can get them a free one-topping personal Pizza Hut pan pizza. Enrollment is now open, and the program runs from June to August. The original Book It is celebrating its 40th anniversary anniversary. The goal to encourage reading across the country. This was a huge deal. I remember when I was in elementary school and they had the buttons and you put the stars on them and so I'm just I'm glad to see this continuing. Buttons, stars, you can keep all that. I'll take the pizza. You'll take the pizza. <laughs> I know. I'll take the free pizza. <laughs> hey, are you, do you have like a handful of streaming services and there's still nothing on? Well, make your own show. <laughs> a new, yep, the new streaming services library includes anything oh that you can imagine. Of course it's time to do this, here right? Here we go. Like, here we go. <laughs> Fable Studio has launched something called Showrunner. It is a service powered by artificial intelligence that will create TV shows and allow users to make their own. Interesting. The company says the platform writes and voices and animates a variety of shows while also allowing users to control any aspect of the show that they want to watch. This sounds intriguing. It Fa does. Fable first debuted this technology by creating an episode of South Park completely by artificial intelligence. The company says it hopes to become the Netflix of AI. Well, very interesting to see where this is all going. <laughs>